I have a database order consists of orders and order detail. I want to create a web API to insert the record into the order. So let me see if there is any record. I will delete them. Before that, I will just start my Visual Studio and say I want to create a sp.net core web API the next. Okay, I will put it in here. I will say web API. Oh, the same more. Hey, so I'll say next again. I let it create a web API project with the template default. I leave everything to default on at six net six and I will say create and okay, go back to management studio I have one record here I'm just going to uh delete this guy delete yes like the guy and I say run um no okay so i need to actually delete everything and i previously inserted a record into here or the detail i'll just delete everything here and i'll delete everything here okay okay Let's see my, okay, it's coming. Hmm, okay, coming. So I'm going to regenerate the motor. Oh, uh, I need to install some new get packages as well. I go to here and I okay. I need to generate the from here the model from here, right? So I do have some, yeah, I do have uh, uh, something like this. But I want to see uh, a database is actually older. Older. Okay. And uh, this is just okay before that. Okay, so I come to here, come to this guy, and I guess I need to get the uh, generate motor and PT. Okay, okay, that's the generate motor. So NTG framework. So I need to take this one and this is going to call. So I'm going to come here, new gate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I have a new get and manage new get packages for solution, right? So I'll uh, come to browse, so uh, actually paste in this thing, uh, find it here. 
Okay, uh, let's say uh, I want to install. They apply, they accept. Okay, then I go to, uh, I go to this one, I want, right? Okay. Yes, this is the one I wanted the framework called Pickle. And uh, I don't think I have this, right? So I need to install this as well. And he's selling us the apply and I say accept. I need one more, I believe it's the entity general call. Let's check. Yes, the entity framework called tools. Right? Yeah, so I need this guy as well. So I install this guy as well. And uh, yeah, uh, apply, uh, accept. Okay, pretty much done. So I go to new get. I need the new get console. Um, oh, I need the new get console. Okay, the new get console, and I need to copy here and paste this guy here. Before that, right? Like a, let's take a look at the solution. Right, uh, controller. I don't want this controller. I'll just delete this guy. Delete this guy. Uh, yes, delete this guy. Right. And I want to have run this and enter. Let's see. Is it called order? Yeah, order. Yeah. Beep. Succeeded. And I should have some order coming back. Yeah. Okay. So I have this. I save all. And I'll create a controller based on my order. And controller. So I'll say. Okay. API controller with action using entity framework as add. I will have the order. Then I want to have the contact, the add, the adding. A generating scaffolding. A is a generate of scaffolding the border. Okay, coming after seeing the dependency.
Okay, building the project. Okay, now generating the code. Take a while. Right, it takes a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, now. If I take a look of the older model here, I have some older detail here. Actually, because this is the orange key, right? So I only want to insert this three property. Let's run it. I'll run. You can see it's actually building the projects. Again, it takes a while. Okay. It's unbuilding and everything is okay. So it's opening the Internet Explorer and the Internet Browser. Rather. So the default browser should be Microsoft Edge. Yeah. It's coming. Just double check that if I go and remark this guy and I go to uh, run this guy, I have nothing here, right? So come back here and uh, I want to insert. I want to try. Okay. To get rid of everything here with the comma and just run okay um okay you have this context problem right okay what is this from uh this is the back from uh microsoft right i go to the controller yeah by default Generated the code, you shouldn't have that error. Right? So somehow, I believe they are not doing a good job well in the injection. Right, so I have to do this, and I have to. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I load again. Hot loading. Okay. I'm not sure the hot loading actually works. Uh, yep, it seems working. I pause again and I try again. And I delete everything here. Except also the comma here and I run again. Oh, okay. Um.
you still arrive. Believe you cannot hold load this guy. Let's make sure that nothing happened here. Now, yeah. Just uh, stop this guy. I believe you cannot hold loading this guy. So just run it again. Maybe I should repeat the whole thing. Let's see. Okay, deep again, start again. And okay. Yeah, come out here again. Try again. Get rid of this. Okay, just say run it for me. Uh, we'll see something called on the loading. It seems okay. Okay, to one let's see here. Yes, it is okay. So this is a this is how to signal all the unnecessary JSON and put in the view that you want.